What's going on everyone? So in this video, we are continuing our HTB Academy module, Intro to Network Traffic Analysis. And we're gonna be finishing up the introduction. Uh, we're gonna be finishing up the networking primer, layers five through seven. Um, and the good thing is, is that we don't need a VM environment. Every answer is provided in the documentation. Uh, so with that said, let's jump right into it. So the first question is, what is the default operational mode method used by FTP? So the answer is active, and you're going to find that answer in the FTP section. You're going to see here the last paragraph. It says active is the default operational method utilized by FTP. So that's the answer to the first question is active. And then the next question, FTP utilizes what two ports for command and data transfer? Separate the two numbers with a space. So the answer is 20 and 21. And again, you're going to find that answer in the same section. It's going to be in the second paragraph. So you're going to see FTP uses ports 20 and 21 over TCP. So the answer is 20 and 21. And make sure you do include a space. Next question, does SMB utilize TCP or UDP as its transport layer protocol? So let's go to the SMB section. I went too far. Let's go down a little bit, SMB. And you're going to see in the first paragraph, uh, last sentence, it's going to say SMB now supports direct TCP transport over port 445. Uh, so the answer is TCP. And then the next question, SMB has moved to using what TCP port? Um, and that port is going to be 445. That is the answer that actually I just highlighted in the previous uh, question. Let me go back down to it. Um, so it says SMB now supports TCP transport over port 445. So 445 is the answer there. Next question, uh, hypertext transfer protocol uses what well-known TCP port number? Um, so the answer is 80. And you're going to find that answer all the way at the top. Um, under the HTTP section, it's going to say HTTP utilizes ports 80 or 8,000. Um, but the answer is 80. You can also do a Google search, and it will tell you that port 80 um, is the default port that HTTP utilizes. And the next question, uh, what HTTP method is used to request information and content from the web server? The answer is get. And that will be at the top as well. So you're going to see under HTTP methods, there's like a nice little table here. And then under get, it says it requests information and content from the web server. So the answer is get. And then where did we leave off? Oh, right here. So next question, uh, what web-based protocol uses TLS as a security measure? So the answer is HTTPS. So we'll scroll back up here. And as you scroll through, um, it says HTTP secure or HTTPS um, is a modification of the HTTP protocol designed to utilize transport layer security, TLS. So the answer is TLS, or the answer is not TLS. The answer is HTTPS because it utilizes TLS. And then the last question, true or false, when utilizing HTTPS, all data sent across the session will appear as TLS application data. So the answer is going to be true. And you're going to find this answer in the, uh, I think it's the first screenshot. Let me scroll all the way up. Uh, first screenshot, yes. So here's a TLS handshake via HTTPS. And you're going to notice uh, that application data is being sent and captured right there. So the answer there is application data or true. Um, and that is it. So um, I hope you guys found this video uh, really helpful and useful. It was actually a quick video, um, but sometimes those are the best. So, but anyways, guys, if you really did enjoy it, please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.